or an intergovernmental military alliance between the member nations. It was formed after World War II and again uh, with the purpose of addressing military threats uh, to or within the member nations. Uh, so there's 28 primary member nations around the North Atlantic and then there's uh, 22 uh, or to between 22 and 40 in various uh, um, isolated programs that the U United Nations uh, runs is, that uh, facilitates or supports uh, uh, dialogue between the nations with regard to any disputes. Uh, the United Nations will deal with uh, or address issues of uh, war between nations, genocide, uh, civil wars within nations, uh, human rights violations within nations, things like that. Uh, so again, um, the member nations agree to uh, support militarily any decisions by NATO and that means uh, using its troops in support of any NATO mission in that way. So again the uh, it requires that each member nation uh, have a certain level of military uh, defense or ability and have a certain uh, amount of gross domestic product within the country spent towards uh, military efforts. But uh, by and large, because it addresses the uh, interaction between nations in that way, it provides a body or framework or rules and, a, and in a, a way a body to address uh, issues in this way. So it has a distinct effect on international relations and uh, the law between nations as decided by the uh, overall body or organization itself. So NATO forms a um, or plays a, an important role in the international law environment.